Alright guys, and today I'm going to be basically giving you a simple tutorial on how to make a 3D FPS first person shooter animation, not an animation, a game, just like the Andy One Candy series, for example, just like this, you know, when the background moves, not the gun, but very realistic, that's exactly what we're going to be doing, first you obviously need a background to move or else nothing will happen, let's just have a few 3D blocks, if we don't have 3D blocks, nothing will look 3D, have some of these, Right, make it look 3D. We just simply zoom in, take it very quick. Put that down, Put that across, Put that down. Isn't the best 3D look, but it looks not bad. So, sorry, my wrong. That isn't what a 3D looks like. 3D, sometimes go up, brown, grass. As from that position, I'll make it go up, forward. All the way, sorry, don't follow that instruction. And we can go down here and down and down here. Now I'm gonna make this bit proper dark gray. Could be darker, so let's just bring the darkness down. Just you can just about see it. Now this side it's gonna be exactly the same. This time I'm gonna change color that to red. It's exactly the same. So we bring it up here, it's about there. Stretch and down. Okay. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a very detailed tutorial, so it might go on for a while if you're lucky. Anyhow, now as we've done it and everything's ready, we can get ready for action. So first, we need the background to be much, much, much longer than it than the screen. So what we do for that? We just basically duplicate these two. So you just hold Alt down and you drag them across. So let me do that now. And as you see, it's made duplicates. I just made a duplicate, bring it across like that. No, do exactly the same the other side. Okay. Hold Alt and move. Alright, now that we've done that, all we want to do is basically save this to an entire move clip. So you hit show all, select it all. Very basic background, you can make it much better. Hit F8, save to a movie clip, call it BG for background. Now go into actions and paste the code that's inside the description and basically it says it's an error I don't really think there is but you have to undo that capital H so I'll make, I'll make it so there's no capital H but anyway all you gotta do now is test it and it already looks like COD Call of Duty style too. Try not to make a big screen because it won't look that good. Make a little screen and you're away basically. Everything looks perfect. It looks all brilliant. And now all we got an idea is a gun. Be better if you sort of made it very small. Well, not really, but smaller than it is. A bit sm shrinker than it is. Bring it up. And now let's test it. So long you've got small ones, sort of high when it start, it isn't going to look bad. So, basically, now I have to, have a, have to add a gun. I'm going to draw my gun, and I will be back in a minute. Alright, and basically now I've drawn out my gun. Yeah, it took me ages to do. And you might be thinking I've got a couple more layers like that, that, and that. These are useful, I'm just going to run through them for you now. The crosshair layer, you just draw out a literal cross and just cut out the middle of it. It's got nothing apart from this. Uh, you create it as a movie clip file through the symbol. And make sure X is 275, Y is 200. Sorry. No 1.1. 1 .1. Um, okay. And basically, make sure that's CH underscore MC. No. Capital letters, got to be case sensitive. 
Once you got all this done for the crosshair, you're on your gun. Now this took me about half an hour to draw just because I'm not using my laptop. I'm using my computer, so it takes ages. Anyway, it's got no frames inside it, but it's got no actions. All it's got is this: G U N underscore M C gun underscore M C. Made that for the instance name. Convert it to a symbol. Convert, convert it to a symbol. Make it a symbol. Move the clip. I'm gonna underscore MC. I forgot about the crosshair. Make sure the registration points in the middle of the crosshair. Like that. Alright. Now for the actions one. Open. Make a new. Complete a new layer called actions. And open up the actions on the actions. Now you should see some of this. The first one says stop. Basically, this is just a stop, so just copy that down. If you don't want to copy it down, it might take you too long. Um, it'll be in the description for you. The next one's on mouse down equals function. You know, you get all this stuff. This would root go to and stop. It's the second, the two is you shoot an animation where it starts. Okay. And up function. Once you've got all this, it definitely shall say it contains no errors, as long as you follow my rules. Uh, now you gotta double click inside your sniper layer. Hit six, right? No, on the second layer, convert it to a symbol. Double click inside that. I'll be back in a sec. All right, sorry. Just before you double click into it, I made a mistake. Just before you double click into it, so make sure it's out again. You're on this. Call this flame. With flame, this layer animation, and this frame actions. And I know I keep stopping you, but I'll be back in a minute. Alright, so now open up the actions layer, go down to where action is on the layer, and put stop, just simple stop code into the layer, and make sure it says alright. Okay. Alright, so now you have, after you've done that, double click the second layer, sorry on animation if you're doing on actions it'll still work but as long as you haven't locked any of these layers go to the second layer double click on this as well now make the shoot now make sure it only starts shooting on the second layer if it's not shooting on the first frame sorry it will shoot before if you know what i'm saying so it like it'll only be a hot shot so hit f6 and basically just make your entire thing so i'm just gonna you make a really simple one. I'm just gonna sort of make it enhanced in the size, so I bring it backwards and down like that. And then have six again. And make it a tiny bit more enhanced, and a little bit further back and down. It's very simple to do. This. Sorry if you can't hear my voice. It's just my recording mic isn't working that good now. So basically, you have two frames on each one. I'm make it nice and small, back to its original size, sorry. You just cut this, in fact, go to this, control, copy, paste place, and basically, simple. Um, very slow shooting, so if I have a look at this now, every time I press, it does a nice and decent shoot. Um, okay, it's nice, if I zoom in proper. He's not badly skippy. I just keep clicking that as just one frame. You gotta wait for it. You sort of actually gotta hold down your mouse when you do it. Or else it's just a frame at a time. So if you hold down your mouse, you just rapidly shoot it quicker than you actually can. But that's basically that. <laughs> you can just make smoke now. Sort of make it twist a bit. Just a bit and test it. You know, could obviously be better, but this isn't any containing any enemies, so this is gonna be very simple. Just shoot. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of fire, just just a tiny bit. So I'm gonna make it a tiny little layer. Sorry, just make that stop. I'm gonna put it behind so everything goes behind it. Be nice and easy peasy. Hit F6. Now, you have six on every layer, so you know what you're doing. And, let's go up a bit. 
And just sort of like edit it so there's a bit of fire coming out of the barrel. Overextend the fire. Because in real life, fire is a lot. It isn't just a simple puff of fire. It's a lot. Really. Some people might just think you'd want a layer, but basically all you gotta do now is clean up the sides. Nice, you just don't look like a messy blow up. You just look like a proper gun blow. That sounded wrong, proper gun blow, but. Let's make it a bit bigger now. Make it a bit bigger, you know, a little bit, extend it. And the same with the orange. No, the next layer is put hardly any of anything. Just so it's uh, basically like that. Just so it looks, so it looks a bit like a machine gun. So, if, uh, basically, that's how to make it. Finishing result should look like this. It should be a nice and simple. Unless you want the sorry, unless you want the frame rate to go up, I might put that. I'm gonna put it about 19, sorry. There you go. I hope y'all liked it basically. Um, very nice tutorial. Um, that's it basically. How to make a simple FPS game using Flash 8. I hope you enjoyed it. See you later.